A leadership change in the Syrian opposition. George Sabra is now the acting leader of the Syrian National Coalition. The SNC will now have to elect a new leader in May. But Sabra was quick to remind the world what he's up against. There are some villages uh, called Jdaydet al Fadel, Jdaydet Artuz, Artuz, Mardamia. These villages uh, they were uh, massacred uh, there, more than 500. Uh, victims and uh, at least uh, thousands of uh, injured. Some of them uh, were killed uh, by knives, uh, by very barbarian uh, ways. Sabra also called on the international community and the Arab League to intervene and stop Lebanon's Hezbollah fighters suspected of supporting President Bashar al-Assad's regime. Hezbollah is occupying Syrian villages, murdering civilians, preventing them from peacefully expressing their views and demanding freedom. The international community, honorable men, the United Nations and human rights organizations, they must live up to these responsibilities. The change came after Ahmed Mu'ad al-Khatib resigned as leader last month, but the SNC only accepted it on Monday. Khatib says the international community has failed the opposition. The change is also a sign of how divided and fractured the Syrian opposition is. Inside Syria, there are reports of government gains in different areas. Activists say the strategic town of al Qusayr is under siege. It links the capital and the Syrian-Lebanese border with the coastal towns and areas loyal to the regime. The Syrian opposition is now saying that more than 500 people have been killed in what they call the massacre of Judeidat al-Fadl southeast of Damascus. And in Jobar in Damascus, the sound of more explosions. Meanwhile, Syria's state television showed pictures of President Bashar al-Assad meeting an Iranian delegation. Rebel fighters have accused Iran of being the main backer of the Syrian regime. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera.